Hi guys. Oh, hey Chuck. Uh, we're just real. Chuck, what are you doing here? Are you gonna eat my brains or something? Uh, not really. I literally saw you screaming for freaking dear life. <laughs> you literally ain't an elephant. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Then why aren't you coming to eat my brains, then? This box guy won't let me. Chuck's still a zombie. Then why is he talking normally, then? Well, the only reason why he's talking normally and he's not attacking you is because I'm making him not attack you. Yeah, if this box guy wasn't around, then you'd probably be a zombie too by now. Yeah? Wait, does that mean all my other friends are here? Yeah. And does that mean you're moving again and talking and stuff? Yeah, that's right. The box guy also has powers. Well, they're only temporary, though, until we return back to the world where I will become a zombie again. But hey, all, all of your friends are back. Even Red! <gasps> hey man! Long time no see. Yeah, pretty much agree. Uh, welcome to Fourth Wall here, I guess. All of you guys. So, all of these guys are dead, but alive in this one. Pretty much. It's basically their heaven. Wait, so Fourth Wall here is heaven? Yeah, pretty much. However, it isn't really heaven for you guys. Because you guys had a very unfair death. Yeah, very unfair. So, what do you mean unfair? All of your deaths are related to that stupid red bird who's probably assimilated with all your kids right now. He took my son! My children! My- my children! That's right. And there's nothing you can do now. You're all dead. Everyone's been assimilated. Unless... What could prevent this from happening, you silly blue bird? Well, Giant Lee is still alive. Oh yeah, and Audrey's still alive too. Giant Leia and Audrey. Hmm, Giant Leia's immobile right now, she can't move. And Audrey's become part of the assimilation of Rouge. They're all stuck. They can't move. I didn't know this would go that far. You know what? To make things more interesting, I'm going to turn on the telly. Okay man, sounds interesting. Oh look, it's us! We look different. Uh, yeah, that's because you're currently unconscious. Oh, it's that elephant. Oh, what the hell's this? It looks like Rouge, Stella, and our kids. Oh boy, what the hell's Rouge been up to? Is that giant Leah? Yeah, man, yeah it is. She's looking kind of blue, though. Ugh, is that a vein coming out of her? Oh my god, it, it doesn't look good. It looks like it's gonna split in two. Okay, second half must have flown somewhere. So is this what she's been doing while we're laying unconscious in this world? She be eating that monster vein. Or whatever it is. I think I missed out on it. I've been in here since like... Why is that monster trying to get in this bag? Is there people in it? That are forgotten? Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Oh my god. She's still eating that monster. An arm's coming out. So apparently, while I've been dead, I've seen all this coloured crap. Sorry, Chuck. So basically, I've seen all this coloured crap that's been going on around here. While I was dead, Rouge just bended the entire colour spectrum to what he wants, so he can be blue. And now this happened. Wait, uh, aren't you coming back? No. Why not, man? Cause, you know... I don't want to risk battling Rouge. I feel he's gotten way too powerful. Well, it's your decision, man. Of course. Well, you can go if you want, but that will make Hal vulnerable to being attacked by zombies. Yeah, we'll give you a head start, Hal. We'll not return until, uh, you know, a few hours. So you can figure out what's going on, man. <laughs> okay, Hal, so... I'm gonna bring you back to your world, so... You can... Try and recruit 
some friends. Recruit some friends? Like, all the plushes that aren't zombies? Basically all plushes that aren't in that blue bag that the Vane invented or infected. You can do it, Hal. And remember, see you when we become zombies. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you when you suddenly decide to attack me. <laughs> Man, this idea is probably going to suck. But I like it. Alright, box guy, Boxford, teleport me back. With pleasure. Oh, uh, hi, Hal. Hmm, it's not what it looks like. Look behind you. How? What happened? Uh, Red, the zombies were coming right for me. I see you brought giant Leah with you as well. Uh, I don't know how. Where am I exactly? Okay, so how come you instantly came back? Well, when I saw giant Leah, the zombies were heading straight for me. So I. Took Giant Leia with me to this world. Oh, hello, guys. What's going on? What's going on, Mario? You almost killed me. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I was a zombie in this world, and I'm currently unconscious, so uh, I don't know what's going on here. Right Red, my friend, what the hell's going on with Hal? Why can't he return? I know what's wrong. Rouge stole Hal's ability to talk in that world. Well, he does have the power to talk here. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, Hal? I'm going to come to the world with you so I can have you talk. Okay. Uh, Giant Leah, do you mind, do you mind staying with Red while me and Boxford saw all this out? Hmm. Okay. Alright. It's time to go back. Oh. Um. Oh crap! Uh, I oh I can talk again. That's good. Uh, Boxford. Uh. <laughs> I hear you have an extreme phobia of zombies. Yes. I see you're not the right person for it. I guess I'll do it myself. Hey, zombies! All right! There we go. No more zombies. Ah, oh, great. Um, but what about these ones? <laughs> oh my god. This is horrible. You're the worst thing forever. What even are you? I am the beast.
Get off us. All of us. Oh, man. 